Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I've covered any updates on Lens Island, but Flow Studio has been extremely hard at work putting together the next big update. The upcoming update named Armored Up focuses mainly on a totally new equipable system that will allow you to equip different clothing or armor that'll grant you special buffs or abilities. And a lot of these new additions will absolutely blow your mind because it's adding so much more variety to the game. But before we get into everything as always, please do not forget to like and subscribe as I'll have a lot more information on other updates as well as fun guides and content on Lens Island that you won't want to miss out on. Now a little disclaimer here, everything you're about to see is not 100% completed, so if it looks unfinished, and it probably is, so expect a little more polish when the update actually comes through. Now first thing, you'll be able to socket and charge your weapons at a new piece of equipment called the plinth, using what appears to be different types of gems or crystals. Now how you collect these gems, you'll have to wait and see to find out. Now you probably may be wondering what sort of upgrades we can expect, and honestly it's probably way more intensive upgrades than you're actually thinking. I'm not going to show you all of them because there were a lot, but I'll show you just a couple of my favorite ones just to give you a little taste. Now first is a more basic weapon buff that shows you'll be able to harness the element of fire to set your enemies ablaze. The next one I want to show you actually allows you to put a debuff on your enemies, lowering their attack damage, which is super helpful for staying alive. Now like I said, I don't want to show you all the different special attacks that are being added, but these two special attacks showcase that Flow Studio isn't just going generic with things. They're planning on adding things that aren't just direct damage special attacks and more unique like debuffing enemies. On to the next portion of the update, which isn't a big portion itself, but I wanted to briefly touch on it, but there will be more options in terms of hairstyles. We get a little idea on what to expect in terms of different hairstyles, which I always appreciate because it gives people a lot more flexibility in terms of character creation. Now, how many hairstyles we'll have access to is still TBD, so you'll have to wait to find that out. Now that we've gotten all that out of the way, let's get on to the real juicy stuff that you've been waiting for. Shoes! Only kidding, Lynn will never ever ever wear shoes and will always be our barefoot king and queen. This clip absolutely blew my mind when I first saw it for multiple reasons. Firstly, it showcases armor which I can't wait to be able to access. We'll have access to other wearable items like the fisherman's outfit that will likely give us fishing buffs so you can truly conquer the seas and even this mysterious looking forged armor set, which who knows what kind of passive buffs we'll get with that. Similarly to what I mentioned before, don't get too invested in any of these sets because they may not end up releasing them in the game. And I would hate to disappoint all of you like that. And you might be asking yourself, well, what if I like the passive buff on a special equipable, but I want to wear a different equipable that you like the look of more? Well, luckily for us, equipables will basically act as transmogs where it'll allow you to switch out the passive buffs after you've unlocked a piece of equipment, so you'll be able to mix and match equipment and buffs. Now that we've talked about armor and equipables, let's talk about the other thing that I absolutely love of this clip that you may have missed. Lynn's model is totally getting updated as well to look a lot more detailed. And I don't think I even need to explain why an updated and more detailed model is good for the game, but it just goes to show you Flow Studio is constantly working at improving the game. That's just a brief taste of what you can expect in the upcoming Armored Up update in terms of when to expect the update to come because obviously the update number two per the roadmap is outdated, We'll hopefully hear from Flow Studio very, very soon on when we can expect this update to go live because I know we are all itching to gear out our limb with some cool new equipment. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and like I mentioned before, make sure you like and subscribe because I'll be teasing new Lens Island content as we get closer and closer to each new update and I'll see you next time YouTube. Peace out.